When producing a fillet weld, the vertical member of the weldment is an ideal guide for tracking. In this instance, the tractor will be traveling toward the contact tube. Release the drive engagement knob or clutch if engaged and place the A2 multi-track alongside of the material to be welded. From the leading end of the unit, slide the guide bar into the vertical member and re-secure the top guide bar fasteners. Move to the trailing end of the A2 multi-track and slide the guide bar into the vertical member as well, measuring to verify that the distance is slightly greater than the leading end. This slight toe-in will continually drive the tractor into contact with the vertical guide member. Verify that the trolley fits snugly up against the vertical weld member. Return to the leading end of the trolley and loosen both the lateral rotation lock and center column collar. Swing the contact tip tube into the weld deposit area for approximate positioning and retighten the securing mechanisms. Slip the grip lever off of the clamping bolt onto the lateral rotation lock and position to gain access to the leading angle rotation clamp. Loosen this clamp and adjust the angle of the contact tip tube. Turn the vertical and horizontal hand cranks until the contact tip has reached the proper position. Loosen and slide the contact tip position indicator into the proper location. Once the flux tube has been adjusted to remove any kinks or closures, open the flux gate valve to begin the flow of flux. Once tracking is set, the A2 multi-track four-wheel drive tractor will aggressively drive the welding head along the vertical weldment. Set with the guide bars in an aggressive configuration, the tractor is able to guide the weld head around a circle with a 59-inch radius.